Alright, welcome back. Today it is the Autodesk 3DS Max 2018 YouTube Classroom. Today we're on video 17. Uh, today is quarter one, week four, day one, and we are going to be learning how to do basic coloring of objects in 3DS Max for our generic file that we created. So pretty much all week you'll be working on modeling your file. In this case, I used the um, MA5C rifle from Halo and I just sort of put a quick little model together. Um, yours, if, you're in, if your file ends up looking sort of sort of like the object you're trying to make, at this point that's kind of a win. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about like how detailed it is or things of that nature. I would just try and get it so it's uh, kind of close. If you can get it close, that's, that's pretty good. So what we're going to talk about today is how to Re, uh, sort of do some basic coloring of your object. Now we're not going to get into like exact colors or anything like that, um, but we are just going to see if we can make it look maybe a little closer to our original object. So in our original object, I've got this uh, this whole gun you know idea here, and I think most of it will be like a black. Um, and sort of some dark gray. We're not going to get any of these lines or anything like that, but we can start put putting some generic colors on. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to select them and then add those colors to them. Uh, first things first, I actually think just because this is an easy addition, I'm going to add a cylinder to the whole object um, right here like that, and then I'll make it like that. So from the front view, I made it so it's kind of in the wrong spot. But I did that because I'm going to use it um, here as part of the actual rifle itself. So from the left view, uh, I know that there's going to be like a bright green color. So I want to make it bright green. Click OK. Uh, just as like, I don't know, something sort of cool to put in there in roughly the right spot. Now, like I said, I'm not worried about making sure this is perfect. Um, I'm also going to actually uh, convert this object to a uh, editable poly. I'm going to move it so it's there and then I'm going to hit this and move this across uh, like that. I'm going to hit F3 so I can see through it. Now I made a mistake sort of and I made it to where I've got a bunch of extra verts that I didn't really want to begin with. So I'm going to get rid of those by hitting the number 2, double clicking this loop here and you can see it turns red. And If I double click right here it also turns red and if I go to loops I can remove loop. So that's that. Because what I wanted to do is I wanted to make this section here and this section here. I'm going to hit F3 to turn that back off. Um, I wanted to make sure that those are also uh, sort of scaled in a little bit because I feel like they kind of should be. From the front view, I'm going to go and bring them in a little bit. I'm actually going to convert these to vertices and now I can scale them in so they look like that. Um, from F3 again, oops, I hit 3, not F3. 1, F3. I'm going to grab these, uh, I'll hit four. I'm going to hold shift, click that. So what I've done is I've selected the actual things themselves, so the faces themselves. All right, so we're back, and I, uh, so we have a basic setup here. What I want to do now is I'm going to start making my colors. So I had materials set up. I'm going to pull it over here. I'm going to choose this, and I'm going to call this gray. Uh, M A T underscore gray, gray or G R E Y. I, I never really know. Um, we're going to make it like a darkish gray. Click OK. I'm going to give it just a little bit of glossiness and give it a little specular level. And then I'm going to take it from here. All right. So we're going to take this gray, and that's going to be one of our colors. And we know we're going to need like a a silver, probably a, a shiny silver. So I'm going to double click or double click that and change it to matte silver all right and we'll make it mostly white okay and then crank the spec way up and then make it like that cool 
so that's our silver. Um, let's see. What are, oh, we need our dark, like our blackish. Uh, so let's get this one here. Double click, 13, and now we're going to call this. Oops, make sure you grab the wrong one, or the right one, matte black. So obviously you can make these colors whatever you want. Um, this will be a material that's black-ish. I'm not going to actually make it full black, come off black a little bit, uh, and give it um, some, some spec and make it soft like that. So it's got like a little bit of a shine to it. All right, cool. So that's our black. So what I can do now is I can start looking at different objects and what color they are. So from the left view, I'm going to pull this out and start looking at it. Now, most of the gun is black, so I'm going to take this section here. Um, I'm going to... So we have, I think we have most of these verts over here. So I'm going to select these, uh, this vert here and hold shift and select that. Hold. Uh, uh, select actually I could probably select this whole thing from the left F3 I'm gonna select all of it F3 and then you'll notice it's not shading everything like I like it and F2 will show the shaded faces or not so I want that and I'm going to deselect these edge faces here and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my M for materials pull that back out and I'm going to actually shade and uh, apply this to selection so what that does is it applies the black to just that section so now I can grab the edge here and the edge here, and then I can add my bright green to that. So I need to make my bright green. So I'll call it green, matte, green. Now, this green was going to glow, which is going to be kind of cool. So I'm going to turn um, the, the self-illumination way up. And then I'm going to change the diffuse to like the green that we were looking for. Uh, maybe more green less yellow bright green there that's cool all right and now I can actually apply that to the selection so now I've got like that bright green um, we also need a bright blue for this part of the screen that we created earlier I'm gonna double click that and actually I'm gonna take this and drag it on to that double click that and change this one to blue for the targeting thing and I'm just going to change the color because it's also going to be uh, pretty cool like that nice and bright and we're going to do the same sort of thing so I can go in here hit the number four make sure I have the, the object selected and select all of these cool and then I'm going to add the material to them now when I do that, oops, it's over here. When I do that, it's going to change a lot of the other things around. Um, we know that our, our material from the left, we said that this top section is going to be like a gray, so I'm going to grab my gray, and I'm going to grab this object here. Probably grab all of it. And I hold shift. If I hold shift and click it, I can grab the whole thing like that. And I can deselect the stuff I don't want like that. And that. And that. And I could actually select by element. That would be a lot smarter, except then I would have to make sure I deselect the other pieces that I'm not going to use but right now I'm just trying to get all these faces that I'm that I've got on top uh, which is good I've got all that okay cool so I've got all that and now I can I think I have the black selected and I'm going to apply it no oh, no wait we wanted gray that's right I'll double click on the gray and then apply it all right cool now for the other portion the black side left um, we've got mostly black for the whole rest of the piece. I'm going to make this gray too. So just to show you how to use it, element is right here. If I know an entire piece is going to be a certain color, I can just grab it like that. Uh, select gray and then put it on there. And then now for all of this, I select that. Um, 
Uh, I can make this black. Boom. And now the trigger, I'm going to make it gray just because. Gray would probably be a better choice. Cool. So it's a little bit different color. And the bottom, I think that's supposed to be black too. We're going to go with black either way. Um, select that. Apply. So by selecting full sections, that makes it easier, but you don't have to. Like we know that the flashlight on the left view, um, the flashlight is like the black on the end and then silver-ish. So I'm going to do the silver here for the barrel. The whole barrel is going to be silver, so I'm going to go back in my material editor, grab my silver, and apply that to the barrel. There we go. And then for the this section, I know that the 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 handle part of it's going to be silver, but the rest of it's going to be black. So I'm going to grab all this. Be careful. I don't want the Oh, I've still got it by element. I need to hit number four. And then I can select through here. Uh, and then I can select. I'm going to hold control and select just through there. And that will give me that edge without getting the light on the inside. I'll probably do that silver too. Um, but this is all going to be black. So I'm going to select black. And then apply the black to that. And then this section here. Actually, I can click one, hold shift, click the other, and it will ring select it. And now I can add the silver to that. And this as well. So I can select this. If I get every other one and I grow it, I should be okay. Let's grow that. Cool. So I got all of those. And then I can add silver to that too. Boom. So now. My object's basically done. It's not perfect. It looks pretty good. Looks okay. All right. So we take some shots of this. Once again, you want to take a plenty of uh, images of this because that's going to make uh, the next section, which is rendering out, look a lot better. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here, get a nice render of it, make sure I'm in perspective view. Set it like that. And then uh, F10 to make sure it's set up properly. HDTV 1920 by 1080 hit render. And then we're going to save it like that. And then this is my last video. And up one level, was it 17? Oh, yes, it should be in here. So I'm going to call it gun paint. Now notice it's not, we're not putting in ridges. We're not making it look really good. Um, we're just sort of getting the basic idea. And I think for today, that's a good, that's where we want to be. Um, we don't need it to be, you know, a thousand percent accurate right yet. We're just looking to get the general idea because we haven't even talked about UVs or any of the other fancy stuff that we can do. Um, right now, we're just trying to get the basic idea. So we'll render that out, look at it, save it, and then we'll call that free gun. to paint save cool and then maybe one more um, like front view um, and then like that the handle obviously looks way too big in this view F9 and save that front these names don't matter as long as you know what they're what type of file they are and, and where you're going to put them that's all that matters here because in the next scene we're going to go into photoshop and make out our images so that we can render it and show off our object okay so that's basically it for today um, just you're going to be selecting things by element you're going to be dragging materials over selecting things by face and learning how to ring select things and then when you're all done with that, um, you're going to render it out. And then that's it. And then next time, uh, we'll go into Photoshop and show how you're going to turn this in. So I will see you in video number 18, where we put together this in a cool presentation. I will see you next time.